my country lay within a vast desert. When the sun rose into the sky, a burning wind punished my lands, searing the world, and when the moon climbed into the dark of night, a frigid gale pierced our homes. No matter when it came, the wind carried the same thing. Death. But the winds that blew across the green fields of Hyrule sought, brought something other than suffering and ruin. I coveted that wind, I suppose. It can only be called fate. That here I would again gather the three with the crests. That I should lay my hand on that which grants the wishes of the beholder. That when power, wisdom, and courage come together, the gods would have no choice but to come down. The power of the gods, the Triforce, he who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. Already the crest of wisdom is mine. All that remains. You know you can't steal my tattoo, right? It's stuck. Oh shit. That was close. Dude, you can't hit a child! What the hell is this? Do not fear. I will not kill you. I merely have need of the power that dwells within you. That's... Oh, less evil than I would have expected. You tried to kill me just then. Now, let us put an end to that which binds us together. Gods, hear that which I desire. Expose this land to the rays of the sun once more. Let them burn forth. Give Hyrule to me! He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. That's what you said, is it not, Ganondorf? Hey! Gods of the Triforce, hear that which I desire. Hope! I desire hope for these children. Give them a future. Wash away this ancient land of Hyrule. Let a ray of hope shine on the future of the world. And let our destinies finally be fulfilled. Ganondorf, may you drown with Hyrule. This is foolishness. A future for you? What are you laughing at, Ganondorf? You're insane. That was a pretty crazy laugh. Poncho, I'm sorry. I overslept. <laughs> I think it's time for us to say goodbye to this place. We must return to the world above, back to our ocean. Don't we have a boss to fight first? Hey, thanks for getting my sword back. Very well, then. Allow me to show you. Where was he keeping those? 
your future. Yes, allow me to show you just what hope you have. Let's do this. See how much your precious Triforce is worth. Ooh -ha 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 -ha. And the battle is on. Hi, right, you're so ready for this. I'll use this bow to cover you. Attack him as best you can. All right, cool. Here goes. Jump attack. Didn't work. Jump attack. Didn't work. Jump attack. No, it's not working. One of my sp <laughs> my usual strategies. No success here. Just keep him busy, basically. Block his blows. Keep him gliding towards you. And Zelda will hit him with a light arrow. And when she does, he'll be stunned. Get in there and lay down a few blows on him. Try to keep him between the two of you so it's real, real easy for her. As he backs away in a nice straight line for you. If you want to, you can ooh, go for some parry attacks here and such, but you don't have to. Just keep him busy while Zelda does all the work. Basically, that's how it works. Oh, you got him again. Bam! Now his parry attacks come in real quickly, so be aware. And you don't always get a chance to parry. Yeah, here, sometimes I'm missing them entirely, but still. Ooh, that was a good one. He laying some blows on his back. Go nuts. He's like, ah, oh, freaking annoying. Boom. <laughs> He's like, hey, it's my girlfriend, man. No, not really, but still. No. You see, sometimes you don't get, you don't get, you don't get a parry offered to you. Not all the time. So, occasionally, you have to get your shield up there. If you keep hitting him, though, you usually get you'll get a parry coming up at some point, so just be ready for it. Yeah, if you're hammering on the B button all the time, though, it's not going to work, so be aware of that. Oh, missed him. Ow. Ow. There's one. This is getting dangerous. I'm playing like crap. <laughs> I'm missing another parry. I believe when he does that leaping attack, you get a chance to parry when he lands. So just keep your shield up until then. Oh, that's like some damage on him too. <laughs> Why not? Oh, did it too late. Oh, ow! He kicked me, man. Ah, and a fairy saved me. Um, nom, 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 nom. Ten hearts? What is this nonsense? Get out of here! Tetra's like, oh crap. I'm asleep again. What's going on? Ah. Damn, did he just block a parry behind his back? That was a little bit crazy. Oh, and he's dodging arrows now too. He's kinda of stepping it up. Ow? He just hit me through my shield too. Okay, he's getting nasty here. Get out of here. Ow, ow. Really, though, he's seriously laying it on. Poncho, you have to distract him! Are you ready? I'll aim for you. You and you use your shield. Do you get it? Oh, yeah, that works. Hit me with the arrow, and it'll bounce onto him. Wind, it is blowing. Link is like, shit, I think my sword's stuck. Oh, wow. Well. Poncho! Hey, he passes out. What a wimp. Come on, man, it's not like you fought five bosses today. Or maybe six, even. King is like, hello, I have a frilly collar. My children, listen to me. 
I have lived regretting the past, and I have faced those regrets. I have decided to become a boat. I could, if, I, if only I could do things over again. Not a day of my life has gone by without my thoughts returning to the kingdom of old. I have lived bound to Hyrule. In that sense, I was the same as Ganondorf. I, I guess so. But you... I want you to live for the future. There may be nothing left for you, but despite that, you must look forward and walk a path of hope, trusting that it can sustain you when the darkness comes. Farewell. This is the only world that your ancestors were able to give you. Please, forgive us. Tetra's like, it's okay. Wait, you could... you could come with us. Yes, of course. We, we have a ship. We, we can find it. We will find it. The land that will be the next Hyrule. So... Ah, uh, but child, that land will not be Hyrule. It will be your land. <laughs> I like how Link's bubble suit encapsulates his hat even when he's not wearing the hat. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Mr. King? Mr. Boat! No, Mr. Boat! Yes, take my hand! Blub, 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 blub. I have scattered the seeds of the future. Okay. And he drowned. And his clothes have magically changed. I guess that's okay, since Tetras have two. <laughs> as long as it's consistent, right? It's like, oh, God, there's a bird looking at us. What is this bird doing here? Hey, it's Prince Kamali. Holy crap, we know this bird. We know that ship. And that music. Link is like, finally, everyone can see my clothes! It's amazing! And it's Errol. Oh yeah, we started out saving her, didn't we? I guess we figured that one out a while ago. So happy. Tetra doing the wink. That's kind of her thing, isn't it? <laughs> Link's mouth is like, ah! <laughs> yep, I think we won the game. Everyone seems to be celebrating now. Good times. Everyone's waving at each other. Oh, and it's the sages! Well, I'm glad they aren't locked in the temples forever. That's kind of what the game gave us the impression they were going to do. <laughs> I suppose now that we've defeated Ganon, their prayers don't need to be as frequent. And that, my pilots, was Wind Waker. Firstly, thanks to everyone who watched this whole LP, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you did. This was sort of a daunting game to start. Because you have to go into it knowing that about two-thirds of the way through, there's going to be this big section that's just all side quests. And that's... Like I say, it's a daunting game to start because of that. Uh, but it's got memorable characters, memorable events. And honestly, this game has the most adorable sages. Like... Just those temples where you get to bring Makar and Medley in with you adds a whole other element to the game that is so cool. 
it's not it's no longer a one man show, you know. And then you've got Zelda in that as who's actually involved in the final fight, besides just tossing your sword back at you, you know. So it's just it's great news, really. And look at all the bubbles that have the same person in them. It's kind of funny. <sighs> so what do we do now? I uh, posted a status on Facebook tonight asking about. Just basically saying, I don't know what to LP next, and I still don't know what to LP next. I'm getting a lot of different answers, and everybody seems to have different ideas of what should come next, and I'm just... I'm in a strange position that, I, that I've never been in before, LPing. Uh, this is the first time that I've looked at my big list of games that I want to LP, and I've said... Nope. None of those. <laughs> it's, um... It's weird. I essentially have run out of childhood games. Uh, I'm looking back and I'm thinking there's only a couple other games that I I played as a kid with any regularity and they are, aren't as good as the ones I've done so it's like it's weird it's like I hit up all, I heard up on so many good games early on I like did Pikmin and uh, Metroid Prime so quickly uh, in my LP and career they were like the second and third LPs I think and now it's like I'm, I'm finally working my way around the Wind Waker, and we did Ocarina of Time way back in the day. Um, so there's there's a lot of, and there's a whole there's there's so many games left. I mean, I'll never run out of games to play, but I've I'm my list of games about which I have extensive knowledge because I played it significant for significant amount of amounts of time as a child uh, is growing shorter and shorter. Uh, there are fewer and fewer games that I can say that about that I haven't LP'd yet, so... I'm... Um, I'm sort of having a... Like an existential crisis here, I'm trying to figure out which... Which game comes next, of, and if it's gonna be one of my ones from my childhood, which ones are left? So it's a, a little bit crazy, actually, that we've, we've gone through enough games that I'm getting to this point, so... Uh, I suppose some newer games will be coming into the cycle soon. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which, there, there are a few... At this point, I still have maybe four. I, I think that I think I, when, I wrote it, when I wrote it out today, I could think of four games that I played as a kid that I haven't LP'd yet. Uh, but they're not all immediately available to me right now. So, like, one of them is just sort of a weird game to be doing right now. Another one I'm waiting for a mod, and another one is uh, let's see, what was the other one? Yeah, it's just sort of a strange timing. So, I'm working on it. And uh, I know it's been a little bit weird the past week or two. We've only had one LP going. Uh, normally I've got, the, I've got the two. Oh, something I wanted to talk about in this episode, even though no one's probably going to watch it. <laughs> I should title it a finale so people actually watch. Because when it's just a number, y'all, I think y'all have been missing them. I feel like they've been not going... They, I feel like they've not been showing up in the subscriber feeds because the last couple of videos I've had like a third as many views of the previous ones, which is usually a sign that YouTube is fucking up somewhere, so... Yeah, I, I don't I don't think we're gonna do Pokemon White after game. It's not looking like it's gonna happen. I'm just I, guess I read through I read a little dis uh, a synopsis of the plot of what comes after, and despite what I've been told, it looks like it's just bonus content. Like, oh, you can fight the real champion and he's got big bad Pokemon and you can run around to the cities and go get the seven sages and it's like, I I really okay. I feel like we beat the Elite Four, we're done, we win, that's it, that's how it goes. And I understand that they're putting more content into the game, but still, uh, at this point, it looks like that's probably not going to happen. But, you know, we have, a lot, we have a lot of other games to look at, so... In the next couple days, you should be seeing my next LP starting, if not, if it hasn't already. Um, recording a bit ahead here. Ah! And the last two bubbles are Happy Link and Winking Tetra. Appropriate, I think. Very nice. Alright, well, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Oh, well, well, no, hang on, hang on one second now. I almost forgot. We're done with bubbles, now it's time for votes. Ready, set, and go! <laughs> Everyone's so sad. It's such a bittersweet ending. It's like, he defeated the bad guy and he's going back out to sea again. Ugh. Oh. Anchors away! Hold the tiller steady!
As for our destination, the wind will guide us. And off they go, in search of the land that will be the next Hyrule. Goodbye, Errol. Goodbye, Grandma. Goodbye, Orca. Goodbye, random townsfolk, including Snotty Kid. And that is The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next LP. Oh, you're